Well, this has to be one of the most requested videos I've done in a long time, and it's on this little fella right here, which is the Radian Ramjet Afterburner Combo for your Glock or your Glock clone. Well, that name is definitely a mouthful, the Ramjet Afterburner Combo right there. So. For my John Wayne fans out there, if you remember the movie El Dorado, Mississippi, the character in there, his real name was Alan Bedillion Traherne. Just got all that name going on. So dad was a huge John Wayne fan. I don't know if the Duke was your thing. Let me know in the comments, but I thought that was kind of funny when I saw those names. All right, back to the Radian Ramjet Afterburner here. So if you don't know who Radian is as a company, they make some of the nicest stuff out in the market today. Their safety selectors and charging handles have been staples in my household and my builds and a lot of my friends for quite some time now. And when Radian does something, they put a lot of time, energy, and design into it, and they generally get it very, very right. All right, before we get too deep into that comp, we gotta pay the bills here with the help of True Shot Gun Club. Awesome guys over there. They supplied all the ammo for the testing on the Gen 5 45 variant of the comp, as well as the Gen 4 version that I have on the Shadow Systems XR920 awesome people over there smoking deals on ammo i'll have links for them at the build list great guys over there give them some love because they supply a lot of the ammo here for the channel let's take a good look at what makes these sexy little comps quite a bit different than just about all the other comp offerings for your glock out there in the market today all right first off you can see these things are an absolute work of art all the way from the curves to the angular design up in the front end of there and just how they fit overall. So these comps are self-timing, which is why that front has that triangular design. This is not gonna go on any which way, except for the way it was meant to go on. And it looks good while doing it. The barrel and the comp work in tandem with each other, giving it that super flush fit and that super flush look to it. That uh, singular taper screw design in there is gonna go on there and securely hold this in place without the use of thread locker and it's just super fast. This has to be the fastest design to put it on and take it off and break it down for cleaning as compared to everything else. Big point here, 50 state legal in design since the barrel is not threaded. It effectively takes your Glock 19 and makes it the exact length of a 17. That way you don't have any trouble finding a holster to fit this. Now, Radian claims a 44% reduction in recoil with the use of the barrel and the comp on that 115 grade ammo. That's pretty crazy. So this barrel in itself is fluted. It has integral cuts in it and a gas sealing chamber for use with that afterburner comp to get the access to that 44% reduction recoil that they claim. That barrel's 416R hardened steel, match grade precision rifling. The comp is 174 stainless and both of these have that nice durable DLC coating that a lot of us have become used to seeing out there in the market today. And again, I think I have a code for these things gonna save you a little bit of coin, I think at least 25 bucks. All that will be at the build list, should you be interested. And for those of you out there that have to have every single spec, here they are with a little bit of that elevator music. All right, so we know the thing is cool and it's definitely a looker. How does this thing perform on the range, especially being that they are claiming 44% reduction in recoil with 115 grain basic range ammunition? things are just nasty out on the range. I tested two different versions of this, the Gen 4 on the XR920, the peanut butter stick of love, and the Gen 5 version on the Gen 545 MOS. So if you're interested in either of these, whether it's the Shadow or the 45, I've got videos on both those, you can check them out. But I ran both of them with factory components inside there. No spring changes, the recoil spring was what came in them right out of the box, whether it was the Shadow or that 45. So. Knowing that, I didn't have a single issue out there with them, and I ran 115, 124, and like a mag or two of critical duty ammo. Flawless performance on all of that ammo, which was a little bit unexpected. Now, Radian does have an aftermarket guide rod that they sell with different spring weights in it, but I didn't have to use it. Like I said, 
I ran the factory one and it ran flawlessly no matter what the brand or grain weight of ammunition was all the way up through the high power self-defense stuff, which I find, like I said, a little bit surprising. Sometimes comps that claim like a 44% or even anywhere near that in recoil reduction don't always run the best if it's not that high pressure ammo. This one fortunately did. As far as that recoil reduction goes, it was immediately noticeable, especially when doing transitions from target to target. Is it 44%? I don't know. I'm not a computer nor a scientist. All I can tell you is I noticed it and even my buddy that was out there on the range with me, who goes to the range with me all the time, commented after a couple drills, wow, that thing is really running flat. So if he could see that with his naked human eye, I'm pretty sure it's getting really close to that 44%. I just can't say scientifically that I've tested it to 44%. The performance I have to say though, for me is exactly what they claimed it to be. When I first saw this thing out, I was kind of like another comp. And then I got the chance to shoot it at a range event with Brownells at GunCon. I took one magazine through it and I looked over at the rating guy and was like, well done, can I shoot it again? Uh, I posted a little video of it, hence why it has probably been one of the most requested videos that I've had in quite some time because everybody has been very interested in this because they've been kind of teasing it for quite some time now. Let's get up close and personal with this thing. I'm gonna show you how it works, how it goes on there and the difference compared to something else. And then we're gonna talk about how much bank account you really need for this thing. All right, let's take a good up close look here at the Gen 5, Gen 4, and then a more traditional comp here. So you can see on this Gen 5 version, they have done a very nice job matching the radius cuts on the front end of that slide. And you have to get generation specific. So Gen 5 is gonna work for Gen 5, Gen 3 is Gen 3. And if you've got something like this shadow system, you can see the Gen 4 is gonna fit it very nicely. I did try to put the Gen 5 version on here, but it was just too close to the end of the slide. So you're gonna have those two really big top ports right there, and you're gonna have a very triangular little looking front end on that. And there is a reason for that because that is self timing. So you cannot put the comp on the wrong way. What holds it on is a single taper screw here on the side, and I'll show it to you in pieces here in just a second and you just screw it in there so it's just flush and maybe about an you know eighth of a turn or something like that. And that's what's gonna hold it in there. You do not need to use thread locker. So it is a non-threaded barrel as well. Where a traditional comp like this arc right here, we've got multiple ports, you can see how long it is. You've got two set screws in the bottom and you have to time it to the barrel, get it the right distance away from the slide, it's threaded. Use thread locker and then it's a real pain to get off. Whereas these, one screw pulls it off, comes out. So I'm gonna break this down real quick and show you the parts. All right, so both of these were tested with the factory recoil springs. And here's a good look at the Radiant barrel. It's got some really nice work up over the hood. You can see how it's kind of wearing in. I got a few hundred rounds through it at this point. That's very, very typical right there. Those nice lines in that Radiant logo kind of file over into the side that you can see. You got a nicely polished feed ramp right there. Very well done on the barrel itself. Good lug engagement you can see going on. A little bit of coating wear, pretty typical. It is a fluted barrel. And then you have those ports in this barrel and you can see that little part right down there is where that taper screw is gonna go through and time that thing for you. So you also notice that it has a triangular design up towards the top right there. Try and get a hand around it so you can actually see it. Now the reason for that is, is because that's going to time the comp on there. So it's just this taper screw right there that holds the thing in there. And again, you don't have to use thread locker on there. And since there is that triangular design on the comp itself, you can't put it on there the wrong way. It's just not going to work. So that's a really good look. You can't turn it. You can't do anything. That's how it fits. And then the taper screw goes right through there. And that's what holds this thing all together. Very clean design, very well done, and it appears to be running 100% reliable on basic ammo. All right, how about that money, that cold, hard cash money American? What is this thing gonna cost you? It's right around 370 bucks. I know somebody is already looking for an AED to restart their heart. Like I said, I've got a code that's gonna give you, I think like 25 bucks off. But things are not getting any cheaper. We just have to face that fact. When it comes to really good parts and things that are out there, generally there's kind of that old saying, especially if you've worked on cars or anything like that, you kind of heard before, it's usually good isn't cheap and cheap generally isn't very good. So you kind of keep that in mind 
when you're thinking about something like this that it's a completely new design and there's a lot that goes into it. Our big takeaways here are the thing is damn sexy. It ran a 100% reliably no matter if it was the Glock clone, that Gen 4 Shadow Systems or the Gen 5 Glock on factory internals. That was a huge thing. And it pretty much probably does the 44% recoil reduction, although I can't tell you for sure. It's 100% noticeable recoil reduction. And the fact that it is 50 state legal is very cool for all of you that have to suffer with those threaded barrel restrictions. Now, is it worth it? And that is a question I get asked all the time. To some, it's gonna be an immediate yes. They're gonna like the look, they're gonna like the recoil reduction, they're just gonna love Radian. Whatever it is, some people are gonna flock to this thing and buy it in mass probably. Is it worth it to you? I don't know, that's a decision you have to make. And then there's inevitably gonna be somebody who's gonna say, imagine being so weak that you have to tame the recoil of a nine millimeter. Well, yeah, sure, okay. Here's my thoughts on something like that. If you can add speed, performance, and controllability without impairing functionality or reliability, why not take that level up? Now, is the thing gonna turn you into John Wick overnight? Hell no. Are you gonna look a hell of a lot cooler than the guy with a stock Glock next to you if you can shoot just as good? Hell yes, but that's a decision you have to make. All right, so all those parts will be at the build list along with the discount code. Uh, I don't know how long that's gonna be available for, but I think you can actually back order these two through Brownells if they're out of stock. I'll leave all those links down below. Those all support the channel along with my Patreons. I love all you guys, huge support structure there. And to all of you that have done these super thanks in the comments, that's like YouTube's kind of in-house version of Patreon. You could like leave a donation in the comments. I didn't even know that was a thing until one day they started showing up, but all of it is helpful. If you can't do that, sub up, leave a comment, like the video, share the video with a friend, do whatever you can. All that stuff is a huge support structure to the channel. But what you need to do is get on the range, have some fun, get a friend out there with you. And remember, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready and I will see you all on the next one. God damn it, dude. This is why I fucking hate going back to Glock, dude, those shitty fucking angles. <laughs>